What's up guys? I'm out on Lake Toho today, like usual. I got Dom and Anthony out here fishing. And I got a big announcement. Actually, it's not a big announcement. It's just a cool announcement. A lot of people already know about this. Mystery tackle box, mystery tackle box. A lot of people know about it, but in talking to a lot of my recent customers, I was surprised that there were a lot of people that had no idea what it was. They're a new partner of mine. I'm gonna be promoting them, doing a video every month. It's the coolest thing out there right now because if you're like me, fishing 300 days a year, you kind of get stuck in fishing the same equipment all the time or the same tackle. Like lately here on Lake Toho, we've been throwing a lot of Texas rig warm. And you go to a tackle store and you just keep buying the same tackle over and over and over again. But with Mystery Tackle Box, there's a mystery. When you get this box, you never know what's going to be in it. Again, a lot of you guys already know all about this stuff, how this works and everything, but this is for the people that don't know about the mystery tackle box. If you're a walleye fisherman, a pan fisherman, a trout fisherman, or a bass fisherman, or an inshore fisherman, you can select the species that you target the most, and that's what they're gonna fill the box with. There's three different boxes you can choose from. This would be the pro box, which they, they gave to me. Um, I already opened it, it's not an unboxing. I know what's in here, but I'm gonna show you what's in here in a second. You can cancel it anytime. It's a pretty awesome deal. Um, what we're gonna to do today out here on Lake Toho is I'm gonna give Anthony and Dom the stuff that I know they're gonna bite on, and I'm only gonna fish with stuff that's in this box. And like I said, I already looked to see what was in it. And the one thing, one of the things I'm really super excited about here is this new Mike Buka's baby bull shad. I have one of these already, it was a white one. Um, it's somewhere in my boat here. That's a good deal right there. They're eating shad out here on the shell bed. We're gonna be fishing some flowing water. It's the rainy season here in Florida. We're not gonna stay on Toho all day. We're gonna run down, fish Cypress. We might all, even go all the way down to Lake Hatchin Hall, fishing some current. I think that deal right there is gonna work. The Booyah Hard Knocker, I have a bunch of these. It's good, it's good stuff in here. Some creature baits. This is the Riot. Got some stuff from Big Bite Baits here. The stick bait, trick stick. More creature baits. All this in one box. You're going to save like 40% over what you'd buy at retail. You got some hooks. What else I got in here? This is an old standard. Cotton Cordell. That's the big O, I think. The big O baby bass. I know they'll eat that here, but I want to throw this Mike Buka's baby bull shed. So this is a mystery tackle box. Got them? No. We're missing some fish right now. But the cool thing about this is you get a box every month. Pick your budget. Pick how much tackle you want to get. Pick your species. And I'll have a link down in the description. You can go down there and you can get your first box for five bucks. So you're going to save even more by using or go use promo code CHUCK. C-H-U-C-K. That's me. Use promo code CHUCK to get your first box for as little as $5. You can cancel at any time. But this is a great way to not get stuck in that same old rut of getting the same tackle at the normal retailer you go to all the time. You get all kinds of different stuff. And it's, it's kind of cool because I do fish for a living and I have a lot of this. I have $10,000 worth of tackle in this box. A lot of it's very repetitive. I have never used these creature baits before. I do have some big bite bait stuff. I have that cotton cordell, the big O. I have this hard knocker from Booyah. I don't have that color, but I never used one of these until they sent it to me. So stay tuned, let's see how it goes, and check out, if you've never seen it before, Mystery Tackle Box. Get your first order for as little as $5. Stay tuned. Later, 30 seconds later, <laughs> Anthony's got his first one. On a speed worm. While I'm getting ready to rig up that bull shed. Exactly like it's big. Just a little shell bed fish. The shell beds don't last very long, like you've seen me doing a bunch of things times. We're gonna go down and hit that run of water as soon as I think the spot's done. Put us on some bigger fish. He's way away from the camera, so you can't <laughs> tell that that fish is actually like seven pounds. Just kidding. Alright. Got my baby bullshed rigged up. The Mike Buka 
baby bull shed. Don't know how well you can see that in the water. That thing swims. That is a well-made bait. Let's see what we can do with it. On this lake, any type, anything that moves, lipless crankbaits, crankbaits, jerkbaits, obviously jerkbaits, they're almost always going to hit stuff on a pause. Not while you're moving it. Chatterbaits even. When we're on a chatterbait type bait or the bladed jig, um, about the only time you get them to hit it is when you're not reeling it. So we are in spot number two. I was kind of hesitant to film this spot because you can see we're right in front of the locks. I think pretty much anybody that fishes this chain of lakes knows when the water's flowing. We catch them in running water. And this is not a secret spot. Still throwing the speed worm. I'm gonna take that baby bullshed. The current is ripping here. I'm put my butt on spot lock. I think I can throw that baby bullshed right in the current possibly and just let it sit there and it'll just swim we're gonna see trying it out i don't have a lot of experience with it like i said i've had one for a while and i caught a few over schooling fish over at the butler chain but i really like that bait and i really want to catch some fish on it so i'm gonna i'm gonna keep at it got them miss them there's fish anytime the water's running on the Kissimmee chain of lakes you fish running water that's just kind of a rule so we'll see how it goes that it's a fish, he's had it long enough. Is it still there? No. I, mean, I, gotta, I gotta get a, I'm gonna get a sitting right where I was sitting yesterday. Nope, it's a fish. Is that a fish? Dude, that is a big. Yeah, it's big. Oh my god. Ooh, we got a oh good one. God. Dude, it didn't move when you set the hook. I thought you were snagged. Dude, you. Go back there if you have to. I got a bit. Don't let it get on that motor. I'll lift him for you, cuz. Hey, you might have to come back here, you're coming over. Watch, watch your rod there. Oh, watch. watch your rod. Plus, we got like a 10 mile an hour current. Did that fish move when you set the hook? No. You want to land them, a truck land them, I land them, I don't care. I'll land them. I, I know what you're not doing. No, you're not add one. You're not going to swing them. No, you one. Big old knothead. <laughs> Wouldn't you have thought that would have been like seven, eight pounds yeah. the way it was biting? Or the way it was I mean, it's still a three, three and a half. Yeah. No, but we caught, that's a lot of the fish here. That's probably close to, probably close to four. Nah. Three something. Fun. Three and a half. We'll get a picture, right? It was yeah. fun. Not a bad one. Let me show the camera here. Is that your first cast? Yeah. Damn, Dude, damn. you're not supposed to catch one of the first cast in <laughs> well, this spot. I mean, it wasn't first cast. So this season. will probably be the only fish we catch here because you caught it on the first cast. <laughs> but you can smell it. They've been eating shad. That's why their mouth smells like garbage. <laughs> Here's nice. Rough star in a shell bed. They're in the running water. Same bait. Big speed worm. He kind of ate it when I was like, I'll let you catch it. If they'll stop doing this, I can try the baby bull shad. So that was the, do you think you set the hook on that fish or he came back and it was in the same place. Every once in a while you can get him on a lipless bait. That's why I'm throwing that and see if I can get that going. Cause that'd be more fun than fishing a stupid worm. Oh, you get hit? Bump. Giant. Maybe. The rod didn't move. Ooh, I don't have that one. Told you to be in here. Get in there, boy. I go look. Oh shit. There's shad. They're gonna be stacked in here. Oh, that's a nice one. Okay, I can want them or I get them. I can grab them. You caught them right into the sun though, which really messes up my camera angle. So we're gonna have to let this fish go and try again. Nice one. There you go. Nice one. Good old boy. He choked that thing, didn't he? Yeah, he oh, watch out, he's bleeding holding over side. Yeah. Is he? Let me spot lock us real quick. Spot lock. Whoops. Spot lock. He, hey hit, that. he hit that dude. That's probably what was in there chasing that shad around. 
That's good though. Dude, I couldn't believe it. I was like, I think I just got a doink. A doink. <laughs> You're not hooked that bad at this that point. It's just deep. Gill. Well, yeah. I mean, it's just you touch He's deep in his mouth. Man, I mean, like, like not like deep, deep. Here, if you want a picture, I'm just rinse them off. Like clean them off. He actually didn't, he didn't get hooked that bad. Yeah. It's just. Probably high threes, huh? Yeah. Three and a half, three and three quarter. Big old boy. Somewhere between three and ten. Leaning closer to the three pound mark. There we go. Closer to the camera. Nice. Like four and five footers. Keep throwing them, just trying to hold you up here. Yeah, I got you. I'm so desperate to get one on the. <laughs> oh. Get him. Oh. I caught one. On my bull shed. <laughs> that a, is that a shed? <laughs> I did what I came out here to do. I kind of cheated. I saw a fish blowing up. This is an awesome bait, but the Kissimmee Chain of Lakes is very unforgiving. It's the middle of August, and these fish get very one dimensional. Like right now, they're on a worm bite. It doesn't matter what they're doing, it's a worm bite. But we're in some current. We're down on Lake Cypress now. I saw a fish blew up. Threw one of my new favorite baits at it on the bullshed. What are you guys laughing at? <laughs> I told you I was gonna throw a bullshed today. They're catching three, three and a half pounders. This bait right here, I guarantee you, I'm gonna catch some big fish on it. Maybe not today, but it showed up in my mystery tackle box. And I said, I'm gonna catch a bait on that. Chuck, is it legal to give that spinner bait a toss or no? No, yeah, go right ahead. And I caught one on it. That's, it's baby steps. I'm all about the baby steps. Now it's on the bigger, better things. Like I said though, I have another one of these that I used at the Butler chain the other day when they were schooling and they whacked it. But Toho is not that friendly sometimes. I know other parts of the country, lakes that I've been to for tournaments and stuff, they will flat out whack this thing. I'm gonna catch more on it today though. That's something following it. Yeah, get him, man. Oh, that is a nice one. Grab him by the mouth, dude. Big enough. Do you mind if I give a spinnerbait a try? Sure. Old man. <laughs> nice man. one. You want to take my picture? Yeah. Time of the year, big fish just eat spinner. They just yeah. do. Nice. Like go four, four and a half. You don't want to get closer, like back up. No, that's... Spinner bait, worm. When they're in current, we got some good. fish chasing shad around, and that little needlefish in there. Got them? Yeah. Good. They're chasing shad around, and the needlefish are chasing shad around, and I think the bass are chasing the shad and the needlefish around, and we're just kind of picking them off here and there. Was that a fish that blew up that no. you saw? No, uh -huh. just a random cast? Uh-uh, yeah. That was what, my fifth cast or something? Yeah. Nice. You never know where they're gonna be. They could be on this side of it, right in the dead middle of it, right out. They come out on a Got flat. Got one? Right in the dead middle of it, yep. This feels like a good one. You wanna land? No, I ain't that good. On a spinnerbait. On a spinnerbait. You're not supposed to hit a spinnerbait right now. But they're not. It's August. <laughs> Is that not supposed to happen? No. I mean, this guy's pretty good with a spinnerbait here. Oh, that ain't bad fish. Oh. Boat flipping. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the gator. Come on, little guy. Uh, Not a bad fish. No. Roll up first cast. There Dude, you go. Right in the middle. I didn't even put the troll motor in the water yet. <laughs> My camera's all down position. That's about how it's supposed to happen, I guess. <sighs> Is it really not supposed to eat this now? <laughs> uh, we just not on your conventional fish. Yeah. The 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 current opens up some things, like the reaction bite type stuff. 
I got one, finally. Ooh, jeez, it's stripping drag out. Mystery, Ooh. tackle, box. My camera going. Okay. <laughs> got him? Got him? Nah, I got him. Mystery tackle box. Came through. Of course it'll be the current. In the current. Texas rigging. One of my new baits. I just missed like two or three. Oh, there he went. Good enough. That was on the, uh, what did I catch it on? You guys are better it's with It's a vile bug. A vile spawn. Vile spawn, vile bug. Vile spawn. I'm going to show you guys what I caught it on here. Caught that one little tiny fish on the bull shed. Then I pulled out my vile craw. Texas rigging it with a quarter ounce in the current. I broke off one earlier in a culvert. You're probably not going to see that. He caught, Where he caught one on a spinnerbait. I broke off on the rocks and picked up one with the 316s. I can't even tell if it's on the bottom. But this is an awesome little bait here. I think in this current. I just pulled the tails apart there. And that current is just down there flapping. But that was probably, what, a three pounder? Three and a half? It was a chunk. High side of three, I would say. I could have boat flipped them. But it doesn't really matter. I did it. Pulled out my box. This is something, like I'm saying, I, I fish 300 days a year. I have loads of tackle in the boat. I have even more tackle at home. And this is something that I've never bought. Never looked at them or anything, but it came in my box. I tied it on today. And it, it opens you up to using new baits that you may never pick up. Ooh, oh, that's shot. not a bad one. Is he tying it back up? Oh, God. We're catching some decent oh, fish God. today. Bomb, bomb. Ooh, that's a chunk. Oh, oh, Look at that. Oh, oh. Solid, dude. <laughs> oh, we are catching some chunks today. No giants. How many three pounders, though, have we caught? Three and a half. Probably on the high side of three, I would yeah. say. He's picture worthy, I think, for picture today. Picture worthy. Didn't even have the cameras on. He goes, I got one. <laughs> big confident attitude. I had my phone in my other hand. I, I was looking at a mess. See, I told you I let it sit. Oh, it was kind of hard with the, uh, with the switch. Yeah. Still catching them. Old bad. It's 190 degrees out here. <laughs> no exaggeration. And we're catching fish. Let me take it online. I'm hitting stop. <laughs> He's taking a picture of the one he just caught. <laughs> and catching another one. We we'll have to get a double pick. A double pick. We're going to get a double here. pick here real quick. You don't mind. One, two, three. <laughs> no, wait, I think just post something. I'm like, take your in a few days. I'm like, oh boy, just oh, going. My phone. Oh, got him? Yep. Oh, tight race. Tight race. That might be worthy of a waypoint for future. It probably won't even be any hydrilla here no. on your back here. Well, guys, future 10 pounders. One of them catches one, the other one catches one. Future 10 pounders, eh? Yep, about nine years. Oh, I just got bit. Yep, there we go. Ooh, ooh, that one's That's pulling pretty good. Megan Tommy Sanders. And guess what I've got this one on? The old mile bug. Oh, is that an old Chublin? Another one. Is that a pike? No, they don't have them here. We have chain pickerel. This is a Florida largemouth bass on. All right, I'm gonna admit, I cheated a little bit. We just went one, two, three. We just went one, two, three. I cheated a little bit. I actually have three mystery tackle boxes. And this little underspin deal here is out of one of the other ones. But that's what I'm talking about. You might get one box that doesn't have anything in it that you're fishing with right now. The next box might. A couple weeks down the road, the box that you got before, you go back and you go, conditions have changed. Now they're biting this. This is out of one of the previous boxes they sent me. Um, I put it together, a little underspin that deal and just caught one bigger than they did just kidding no but uh so that's three different fish on three different lures 
two fish were out of my current latest box and this is out of something I put together out of the previous box. So you get in this deal for a year and you get different tackle every month and you're just going to build up a good, you know, a bunch of stuff like I've fished an underspin before. I've never fished this brand of underspin before and I may have never bought it had it just been in a tackle store. But now that I've used it, it actually, that blade actually turns. You'll get a lot of these underspins where the blade just sits there and knocks up against the hook. Now, I like this one. And I like this, uh, what is this one, Bake? Biospawn. Exo it's a Biospawn, what? Exoswim. College kids, they know them all, all the baits. But, here's the deal. See how long you guys, how much of this video you guys watched. I said I have three boxes. What I'm gonna do, for people watching this video, you gotta like the video and comment on it. I'd like you to comment, pick me, and then hashtag mystery tackle box. Pick me, hashtag mystery tackle box. And I'm gonna pick one of the people about a week from now when I do my next video, and I'm gonna send you that box with all the original contents of it, but with probably some extra stuff in it for mystery tackle box. So leave that comment, hit like, Pick me, hashtag mystery tackle box, and I'll send you the context, contents of one of my three boxes. We're on a very picky Lake Toho and the Kissimmee chain today, where all I've really been catching them on is a worm. But I've taken a couple different things, like I said, out of a couple of those different boxes. And I've caught fish on them when all I've been fishing is a big speed worm. Underspin. What was the bait again? Exo, uh, Biospawn Exoswim on this hashtag mystery tackle box pick me hashtag mystery tackle box I'm gonna send somebody a box but the people that bailed out and didn't watch this whole video won't even know that because I'm gonna put this part right in at the end of it right before <laughs> I do the closing even if we catch 20 fish after I do this this will be the last clip you see <laughs> as we're closing the video out how many people do you think will like it? Just to see. You like to see how yeah. many people watched the whole video watch and how many people watched six minutes of it and then went on and did their business. We are getting ready to head in. We had a pretty good day today on Lake Toho. Um, we ran out of water about an hour ago. I'm super thirsty. These guys are sponges and drank probably 20 bottles of water. <laughs> Just like normal here in August, it's probably 117 thousand degrees on the lake now it's actually not that bad but we did run out of water um, but that's okay so my first mystery tackle box video caught some stuff baby bull shed a couple of the other baits the underspin deal what was it again one more time bio spawn exo stick caught some on that which is an awesome bait that little underspin hook is probably the best one I'll post the link to that where you can go to that shop Carl's and buy it but that's probably the best underspin setup that I've used with keeping the blade rotating. But anyway, and what else did I catch them on? That other deal too, I caught one on bio the, bug. the bigger one, the bio bug. Caught one on the bio bug, that was a decent one. Actually, I dropped it off the side of the boat. But anyway, so, I got my mystery tackle box in the mail. And just like I said a little earlier, I actually have three of them. I'm not gonna tell you what's in this box, because then it wouldn't be a mystery. And it's mystery tackle box. So, like the video, leave the comment, pick me, hashtag mystery tackle box. Hashtag mystery tackle box. I'm gonna pick somebody out of that on my next video and I'm gonna send you the context, contents of this box. I'm not gonna tell you what's in it. I might even throw a couple extra things in it. So you get a boosted, uh, juiced up mystery tackle box from Chuck Pippen. But like I said earlier, it's a great deal. Go sign up for Mystery Tackle Box. The link is in my description. Um, I think if you click on that link, it automatically enters my promo code Chuck. But if you just go to, um, and it gets you that first box for as little as $5. If you just go straight to mysterytacklebox.com, when you go to sign up, enter promo code Chuck, C-H-U-C-K. If you can't spell that, you don't need to be buying any fishing tackle on your own anyway. <laughs> promo code Chuck, sign up. Let me know what you think. You can get out at any time. You can upgrade. You can even pause your subscription. You can pause it and then start it back up whenever you want. But why would you pause it when you can get 
a birthday present, a Christmas present every month of the year. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. You guys got anything to say? Thanks, Chuck, for a great day. See you next time.